Here's our logo that we scanned into CorelDRAW. If you take a look at the bottom, you'll notice that this is a bitmap monochrome image. And if we try to laser engrave this, it'll engrave ex exactly like a photograph <coughs> instead of cutting out. We wanted to cut out. So basically what we need to do is we need to convert this from a raster image to a vector image. We can do this in CorelDRAW using the trace bitmap function. First of all, select your, your image, which we've done here. Next, go to Trace Bitmap. Go to Outline Trace and say Line Art. Now, you're going to get a message here saying, do you want to reduce the bitmap? We can say yes, or we can cancel. And we'll say yes. And here's our image in the preview screen. Now, notice in the bottom here, there's a green status bar here indicating that the trace is going on right now. So here's our trace. Also notice down here that we've got 544 curves and we've got about 5500 nodes. That's a fair bit of information. Let's see if we can cut it down a little bit. Make up the detail a little bit. And we've got a little more, we've got a little bit better detail here. If we go down into the smoothing, we decrease the smoothing. Again, it stays fairly relatively the same. So let's stick with that. I like to use wireframe overlay instead of before and after. Here's before and after because I like to see the trace on top of the original image, which I can see here. And if I zoom in on the image, you notice here that you can see the red line tracing out the original bitmap. Again, I'm going to delete the original image because I don't want it to come in. And I'm going to remove any object overlap and remove the background. Click OK. And notice down the bottom, our image says, says group of 549 objects, which means basically this is vectored now. Easy way to check, view, wireframe, and notice I still have an image here. If it was a bitmap, it would come in as a gray rectangle with a light version of the image in the background. Again, let's zoom in on here. And we've got a pretty good trace going on here. Now the problem we have here is we have all these lines here, which we don't want to be in the actual trace because we just want to cut this out. So we need to get rid of all these lines here. So let's select the image. Let's go to Arrange. And we're going to ungroup all. Now we can select the individual objects and we can delete them. So this is basically we're going to start dragging. Usually what I like to do is try to drag just so that we don't select a whole object, one of these inside objects. And we're going to start deleting. So here's a delete. Notice how I deleted that, so I've got to go back and select. And we'll select this so that we don't have that. There we go. So if you drag so that you're just on top of everything, you're not encompassing the whole object, then when you delete this, you won't delete the cutout objects that we want to keep. So just keep deleting. It can be a bit tedious, but it's the only way I know how to do this properly. Okay. So if we're going to miss everything here. No, we didn't. Oops. And...
We're getting there. And one more, and we're done. Now, what we need to do now is if you notice, if we zoom in on an area here, you notice that we have a double line here. Now, again, if we try to cut this, we're going to cut this line, and then we're going to cut this line, and that's no good because we're going to have a double cut, and we're going to have a lot of extra burning and twice the amount of travel. So what we need to do is we need to get rid of the inside or the outside line, whichever one you preserve. The problem is, is that when I select this line, you notice here that I only I don't have anything as far as I'm grouping or anything so I can actually delete that line but notice that I still have another object here so let's go into a range and notice here it's we don't we can't ungroup it but what we can do is break the curve apart so if we break the curve apart now I can select the inside line and delete that out. and again let's just go through break curve apart so this again is just a matter of getting rid of all these inside objects and keep going until they're done. Break right curve apart. Control K is the hotkey if you want to use that. That's a quick way of getting a hold of or breaking it apart. So Control K and you can select the inside and delete that. Make sure you, you click right on the actual object itself. And just keep going along until you've gotten rid of all the objects. Control K. And Okay. Delete. Delete. Control K. Delete. We press the hand or the H key. Our cursor becomes a hand. We can drag this around. Press the space bar again and select the object here. Control K and select that inside. Oops. Control K. you can't select a whole bunch of them which would be very nice and we're deleting this and we're control K so again it can be a bit tedious but Again, it has to be done this way. I don't know any other way that we can get this done that way. Let's go into a range. And let's take a look here. Ah, we have a problem here. Notice how this is broken here. This is a good 
example here. So because this is broken, I'm going to come back to this once we get everything. And you notice here there's actually an area up here that's unbroken. I'm going to come back to this vector in a little while. Let me just finish off the other ones first. I'm going to zoom out. Let's put a zoom. Let's just get rid of the rest of these. Get these all cleaned up first. Okay, we've got everything done now. Let's go over and let's fix up this one right here. So, we'll zoom in on this area where we've got an issue, which is right in the break here. H, there's our break. There's our break right there. So again, we need to join these two ends. The easiest way to do that is just go to our shape tool. Make sure you select the shape function, which is F10. Now, I'm gonna just get rid of this node right here. And I'm going to just take this node here and I'm going to extend it over this other node. Notice how I match these two nodes up. Now I've got an overlap here right now. So all I need to do now is just go into Range, Shaping, and Weld this. And notice how that now is welded together. Now that's all one entity. Again, if I want, now I can just come in here and go break curve apart. Notice how it's active now. And I can select that inside shape, and it's gone. Now, the other nice thing about the shape tool, if you had to notice when I was coming down here earlier, and it's actually gone because we deleted it, so I don't have to worry about it. But again, if you had the shape tool and you had some crookedy areas here, again, you can select that what? node there and then just delete it. Now let's zoom back out again. And if we zoom out, you notice we have a couple of breaks going on here. So let's just check these breaks. There's no break here. This just a so again we can select this line here and we can get rid of that if we want. Not a big deal because we may actually get rid of it anyways. So if we select this line and we go to range, again we can break the curve apart. So let's, select, let's go back out to full view. Now I've got my butterfly here and the question really becomes which line do I, do I want to delete? I can delete the inside line. Whoops. Let's just make sure that it's broken apart. Let's just make sure I've got a... Ah, that's the problem. Let's undo the break apart. Let's go in here. Let's overlap that a little bit. Let's overlap this one a little bit. And move it down over there a little bit. Now all I have to do is just select this line and go into a range shaping weld and there we go again we've got ourselves a, jo a joined area we're going to go back up here break the curve apart now i can I go back to out to zoom to full view i can now select the inside part of the line and notice here that if i get rid of the inside line that works pretty good for me i've got all my antennas here and everything like that and again, the problem is I lose a little bit of detail right here. So if we go edit undo, and let's say I want to delete the outside line, see what that looks like. Again, we lose our antenna here, but we do have the detail here. So again, let's go undo. Let's get rid of the inside line. And if we want, we can just select the shape tool, which is right here. And then I can select this line right here and if I want I can just drag that right in there like so and let's take this one here and let's do the same thing 
and now I've got myself a nice little indent here and again if I really want to get a little bit more fancy I can zoom in on this area here and I can say well, let's delete that and see what happens that looks pretty good and let's bring this in a little bit more and again you know maybe we might want to open that up a little bit there we go H so we can go ham we can go back to our other one let's just see yeah, that one's looking pretty good too and we can select this and let's just drag that out a little bit drag that out a little bit there we go and let's go back out to full view and there we go we got a nice little setup I'm just gonna have to get rid of those inside circles and there we go now we've got our completed vector outline of our actual butterfly takes a little bit of time because we're going to delete all those extra lines that were in the image and then we've also got to delete the inside or the outside line of our the individual objects but again only way I know how we can do this quick and easy anyways hope you enjoyed the tutorial